Hi, uh, in this video today, I would like to show you how to uh, install the Candy Go CMS on the Windows PC and also how to run it. Okay, so let's get started. And now I go, go ahead to open the setup file. Okay, so this one is the Candy Go 9. I will download it from the internet into the, my Windows PC. And basically, I have done another video previously on guide you how to get the the, the, the setup file of the candy core from the internet into the window PC and we also get how to get the older version of candy core so if you don't know how to get the older version of candy core or for the project so you go ahead to see it on my youtube channel okay so at this time the latest version for candy core is 10 version and because I don't have the license for or 10 version 10 for now so I will use the candy code 10 as candy code 9 indeed okay so basically all of the steps to install the candy code uh, 10 and candy code 9 is the same so you should follow this one in order to work with another version okay so we go to ahead to click on the setup file here it loading yeah, you check into the I have read and agree the license. You, we have two options here. If you clicking on the quick installation, so the the the, the system will handle all of the action for you. And I suggest you we should use the custom installation. When you, when we are using the custom installation here, so you are able to do the uh, configuration for all of the step like where to install the file and what is the database name and something like that for the project so we will have it by default for the program file clicking on the step 2 by installation tile yeah so here you see like the some the lo local IIS server and you select the destination for candy core so I will select it in another folder okay so let's add other thing by default database if I able to provide some information for database uh, server credential and when you uh, when you are able to log in into the database server so you are able, you are able to create any new database name for the project clicking on the I have asset to add a sequence server here you open the sequence server name here and the server name is Genviate PC. Provide some Korean so here. Establish connection. Yeah. So after that, when you clicking on the drop down button here, so it will lead all of the database in the uh, existing in the uh, database server so now you go ahead to uh, enter any name for the database I will name it candy code 9 DB select the upright existing, existing database component leave it by default simple size so for simple site, we have a lot of the uh, site template here. So you are able to select something here for the template. It will uh, after you select any template here, so it will display on the front end page of the Kentico site. And here I will go ahead to select the MVC blank site. I don't want to use any template. 
because I want to uh, uh, I want to have a project with a blind side. So we can I can do it by myself by creating new the template and after that I do some coding to create some the uh, web path and something like that for my website. Okay, so clicking on the install button to to do the installation for the Candico on room on my PC. And after that, you have it will take some uh, a time for install the Candico into on on your local PC. You can click on the show detail hyperlink here. It will show all of the thing either uh, copying and installing in on your window PC. There is some the action, I mean. If you don't want to see the tag here, just go ahead to clicking on the high detail hyperlink. Yeah, so it seems the installation is done. Like wait. And there is the document of the candy code on the internet. So you can go through this one to see some of the tutorial of the candy code here. Okay. It's finished. You see here the default user for either administrator and account is blind. Uh, the password is blind to access into the admin account for Candy Co. Okay, so you can see here uh, this one is the front end page uh, because we, we didn't see any the, the website template, so uh, there is a blind page should be displayed here. Okay, so now go ahead to access into the admin page so type the administrator here and the password part, part is blank look on and for the first time using so it will take the time for uh, for for, for it initialize some configuration so we will take the time for loading yeah okay so by default we have a 14 14 day for using the child version so if you already have the license for this one you can go ahead to uh, the change it and I will do it later because I, uh, I, I I already have the license for the uh, candy, code, candy code 9 but sorry I cannot share for you okay I will change it later so here if you want to change the license you can open the menu and type the license Okay, click on this one. There is some the there is a child version license on my PC. Oh, sorry. The same thing here. You can click on the new license. Okay, so here I will show you the license. It look like here. 
uh, but for now the license is incorrect because I have just replaced some of the information here. You just go ahead to copy this information here from the domain and after that you create new license here and paste the key into this text box and go ahead to save it okay so after you clicking on here you enter the uh, your the correct uh, license so it will uh, change the information of the uh, license here indeed uh, this display the the child version for either 14 14 days so it will display the another information okay so we can uh, Close this that button here and open the short code. Here. So this one is the short code of the candy code on the Windows PC. And you are able to open it in the Visual Studio. And so we will do it do it later. You can open the sequence server here. We have new database name. It is the candy code 9 underscore db. When you're clicking on the table here, so it will display all of the uh, all of the table created by the candy code. Yes, yeah, so there is the default table of the candy code. After you install successfully can you go on your Windows PC? Yes, there are, there, are, there are a lot of table here. So it will uh, display and store the data for the for, for, for all of the for all of the feature uh, of the candy core. Okay, so I hope this video will be helpful for you. And after you finish with this video, you know how to install the Candy Core on the Windows PC. And after that, you, you know how to run it on the window. Okay, I think that's all for today. And uh, I will go through the, the, the Candy Core dashboard here for some either, another video later. Bye bye and see you later.